Many people came from higher planet. Mostly, most of us come from higher planet. Higher technology doesn't mean higher spiritual. Yeah? That's different. That's different. Therefore, a person who can invent high technology or supercomputer doesn't mean he's spiritually enlightened. Huh? You know that for sure. Yeah? So, same, same. This kind of power, I just know how. They just have high tech, but they use it for bad purposes to control some of these inhabitants on the planet, as well as the one that being exiled here. This is a bad intention, bad manner, very rude, very uh, undemocratic, and I don't like it. So after seeing so much like this, I really don't like it. So I decided to give you initiation again. So lucky you. Hmm? Should thank God. <laughs> I know very well that I might be going to suffer one way or another, but I will do it. It doesn't matter. At the moment, I, I'm high enough, so even if I die, it's okay. But it's better I don't, because uh, our planet is still not stable, huh? Not stable, huh? And my kids not grown up yet. Not all of them grown up. We still make trouble every day. Mommy, this, mommy, that, master, master, itching here, master. Oh, a little cut, master, help. Oh, bleeding, bleeding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Master, my car kaput. Master, my alarm clock don't work. Wake me up tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yeah, so that you can wake up on time, go to work, and earn a few thousand dollars per month. Hmm? Yeah, it's good, but your precious time, eight hours a day, ten hours a day, just for a few thousand dollars. Hmm? Well, you need it anyway, but still, imagine if you can use that to do meditation, huh? Okay, it earn a lot more. But never mind, we are on this planet, we have to do something, and we also own that to the society to pay back, huh? in some way or another. Even I am also working in different way, huh? Different way. Yeah. Even I also try to earn my own money. I don't spend a lot, though. Mm. I look like I wear a lot of nice clothes, but this is all my, my creation, pretty cheap, you know, homemade. So <laughs> uh, just cost some of the, uh, how do you say, the material cost, you know? Even design jewelry and all that, no? Yeah. But we have to pay for workers, yeah? pay for the tax for the company, and uh, etc., huh? all related things. So it costs more than it usually should cost. But for me, you know, uh, it's my stuff, you know? <laughs> Just nowadays I don't have a lot of time anymore, so you see me wear less and less. Huh? No jewelry, no headgear, no handgear, no nothing. Huh? So for example, here in Sihu, everybody come and take water from my land. This water is not come from government. We dig some wells and store it in the in the uh, in the how you say water tank, uh, for you to cook for you to give you some water to eat. And the running system, the the running uh, stream here, I designed so that it recycles the water. That's all. It's not forever running, huh? It came from our well. Of course, the running water has more uh, oxygen in it. It's, it's nicer. And don't take it unless you really need it. What for? You come here every week. Hmm? You are not sick. Huh? Even you are, you are sick, you think the water will heal you? Does it heal you? Anybody? Yes or no? Huh? Yes? Some of you, yeah? It's your faith, no? How can the water heal you? Hmm? Okay, maybe it's special water, but if you're not sick, don't take it. Okay, if you believe that the water heals you when you're sick, take it only when you need, okay? Otherwise, at one time we drink water with sand in it. I mean, we, m me and the residents, long time, well, a few years ago. And then also we cannot have water to cook for ourselves after you left. 
the drink to cook, we had no water at that time. And we have to dig more wells. But I don't know how much the earth can supply because the water needs to also water the roots of all the plants around here, okay, in the land, neighbor, neighboring land. Hmm? Uh, so in summer, we also don't have a lot of water, that's for sure, huh? Hmm. Okay, so take it easy, huh? On the water system here, huh? Okay? Yes. And then we also, our residents are taking care of the water systems. Make sure it's running, make sure it's clean, make sure it's not blocked, and it's uh, good enough to drink. But our residents are becoming older and older, like myself. Yeah, sometimes in the dark room, I look beautiful and young. I thought, wow, you still look good. Hmm. And then when it's in, in the real, <laughs> real sunlight, I thought, oh dear, who is this grandma? Grandmom, <laughs> gram gram. <laughs> Sometimes I look young in a different situations. So I like to stay in the dark room so that I can look, you know, in the mirror. It doesn't, the wrinkle don't show us too much. Anyway, okay. So after initiation, try to meditate as much as you can. Huh? If you want to get over the water, then two and a half hours. Okay, because we have twenty-four hours a day. Two and a half hours, more or less, like it, okay? Should feel awake, okay? Leave some ice water or something next to you and sprinkle yourself. <laughs> In old times, some people leave their hair long so they can hang their hair on the, the beam. So whenever, uh, I cannot, you see? Maybe that's why I grow my hair long. I'm just too lazy to go to the hairdresser. Actually, I'm a very cheap master, you know that? I do my hair myself, huh? All the styles you see on, on the TV, anytime, anyway, it's just, I did it all by myself. I dye my hair also by myself, I wash it myself, of course. I style it myself. And the most lazy is like this, okay? Or just put it up and zip with the crocodile teeth, chuck. Also, do, it's okay, yeah? Uh, and then I do makeup by myself. You know, many people who go on TV, you know, to talk, even ordinary people on an interview, they do the special artists make up for them, huh? I do everything by myself. And sometimes I have to wash my own clothes, iron my own clothes, to make me look good in front of you. Mm. So I'm very cheap, yeah? And even I, I go out to eat in restaurants sometimes, because for some reason I don't even like to go out to eat. I'm lazy, I like to stay at home all the time. Cave, cave woman. Huh? <laughs> But sometimes I go out to eat. Even then, I go out to eat. It's so cheap, you know. <laughs> Only vegetarian, uh, very cheap, and I eat not too much. So I can afford to give a lot of tip. And they all like me very, very much. Uh, even if before they don't care about me, after I eat, uh, after I give the tip, ah, the face change, you know? Glitter with happiness <laughs> and surprise. Oh! How come? You're so generous. I say, why not? You give me a lot of food, so <laughs> I give you a lot of money. Huh? Yeah. But if I told you last week already, if I live the way other people live outside, you know, then I have no money at all. I have no money to send Kuan Yin messenger to your countries. I have no money to buy even this piece of land for you. I have no money for car, I have no money for giving charity, nothing left. I have no money for SMTV, nothing. You think all that money came from some sister and brother? No, for me, for my business. But I just don't have it in my name. They are guarding my, my treasure. And then if we need, you know, I tell them, send here, send there. I tell FG to tell this and that, to send here to help, send there to help. And sometimes I take money out and help myself. Help them, not help myself. Help them myself, you know, anonymously. And because of, uh, I, I, I'm a cheap master, huh? you can say that. Huh? <laughs> Low maintenance, yeah. Yeah, all the clothes and jewelry I wear also because of advertisements to sell. Hmm? 
I'm also a model, even that, huh? Not only I don't spend a lot, I earn a lot. <laughs> Therefore, I can do many things. I can help, but after I invite some group and they eat, because they, they don't eat vegetarian, and in, inside that hotel there's nothing. I, very little vegetarian. I, they say they w I invite them, I cannot tell them, no, you cannot eat this, you cannot eat that. I can gently say, I'm vegetarian, if you want, you can join me today, vegetarian, but they don't. Or they eat meat, they eat fish, they eat all kinds of things, and then they drink wine, you know, expensive stuff, and it amounts to a lot. I'm thinking to myself, if I live like that every day, whoa, I will have nothing left, not even this close to wear. <laughs> okay, at home, if you are alone, you don't have to wear a lot of clothes, therefore you don't need to turn on aircon, understand? Yeah, you take a good cold shower, and then you just discard all this uh, beautiful dirt <laughs> on you. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful dust, pink dust or blue dust, or yeah, and then you just stay by yourself like the day you were born. Hmm? Yeah, dance around, feeling free and happy. There are many communities, they don't wear any clothes. I know one, uh, I've been one, I've been to one before, <laughs> I didn't know before I came there. They took me in California to buy a piece of land, a new piece of land. They didn't like the, the land I offer. It was, I bought it for them before, when we don't have a lot of disciples. And they have more and more, and they want a new, new, new center. So, okay, I went with them to have a look. When I come in, oh la la, <laughs> I came inside the gate, oh la la, who greeted me, but some Adams and Evas, or beautiful little Adams and little Eva, uh, old Adams, or young Eva, they all, you know, naturally dressed and happy. It's their community, they do what they want inside. In Spain, I know one couple, because I also look in for some place, you know, uh, before, né? when I don't have so many so-called disciples like now. Uh, I also sometimes need to go somewhere. Don't have a meditation center, so I gotta look for a place. I know that couple, they, they sold that place for me. Long time already. Yeah, it's not in my name anymore. <laughs> uh, I mean, most of the place, after I buy it, after a while, the disciple took over and it become in their names also. And they take care also. Yeah. They manage my money, my house, <laughs> my place, and while I'm running around having to live in a hotel. Cheap hotel, you know, cockroach hotel. Because some um, high class hotel not always have room. Okay? Yeah. Uh, mostly people, when they go to any country to live in a hotel, they are business people, important people, or they're on holidays. They, they afford, they can afford, you know, high-class hotel. Uh, they can pay. Therefore, high-class hotel mostly always full. And even if you can get in a few days, you cannot stay long. You have to change, either change room or change uh, to another hotel. It's inconvenient. But I had to live a life like that often because I have nowhere to go, nowhere to stay. I do have disciples around there, but they don't have room for me, that's for sure. Many, most people, they buy houses for themselves, you know? They buy two, three rooms according to how many children they have, and then so where do I go anyway? Huh? I can't stay there, <laughs> take off their room. <laughs> and so it's not so simple, my life, not as simple as you think. Anyway, so if you see me living sometime in one of the high-class hotels, please don't criticize. Don't tell the newspaper or anything. It's not that I want it. I don't care if I live in a cave or not, or in a high-class hotel. I just need somewhere to stay for that moment, for some reason. Yeah? Not always for myself. Okay? All right, then. Uh, what else did I want to say to you? What was it before that? Before the hotel, what was it? Ah, oh, natural, meditate, okay, okay. Ay, ay, ay. You speak Vietnamese like that? <laughs> Grammatically not correct. Hmm. Hey, nowadays they don't speak Vietnamese anymore. When I read the Vietnamese nowadays, I thought, what is that? You know, what kind of language is this? <laughs> it's not the one that I used to. 
Okay, never mind. They understand each other and there's no war and that is the best thing. No matter what, how you speak, as long as there's peace yeah, among you, any of country, as long as there's peace, doesn't matter what language you speak. In Switzerland, they speak like six languages. They put six languages in their official document, any document. Or, or, is, it the, or is it in the United Nations? <laughs> or is it the European? Anyway, whatever. They, in many organizations or many countries, they have many languages. They still have peace with each other. Switzerland, for example, they don't speak one language, at least three, Italian, French, German. They don't fight. They are the best, one of the best in the world, peaceful, rich, yeah, harmonious, safe. Hmm. <laughs> so it doesn't matter really. Hmm. Okay, uh, what was that before? Meditate? No, I wasn't talking meditate, that was last year. Hmm? Hmm? What? What love? No, oh yeah, don't criticize me, okay. But that, what before that? Huh? Orange juice, if you tell. Ah, okay, okay. Economy mm, for the world and for the water system. If we put too much detergent into our water uh, system, then it will. Uh, then it will, uh, you know, pollute our system. It cannot be washed away. Eh? Any poison, any chemical going to the water, it cannot be gone. Understand? In the air, maybe it can dissipate, but in the water, how? Just stay in there and recycle again, again and again. This is terrible. So take care of yourself by taking care of the planet. It's a little bit late now. We should have done it long ago, but better than nothing, okay? Better keep it as is and not worse, huh? Do the mosquitoes bite you here? The one who stay long? Yes, a lot? A lot, a lot or little? How many per day? How many mosquitoes bite you per person? <laughs> huh? One, two, three mosquitoes per day? More, five? What? No? No count, a lot? Oy, oy, oy. Sorry, you don't have some non-chemical thing, non-toxin thing to spray? Okay, uh, she-hu,要买卖的东西的人买,多买一些那个喷 uh, uh, Okay? Okay? Uh, before, in the beginning, when I lived here before, before you came, uh, before your invasion, uh, there's also a lot of mosquitoes, but I, I don't even... Maybe there are a lot, but I never see them. They never bother me. And I live in another mountain also, I live in ten, actually. We only built a cave, you know, I mean, uh, maybe twenty years ago, before that. Less than twenty years, maybe, I don't know, twelve years, fifteen years. Uh, before that, we live in tents, yeah, and we live more in nature. We cook outside in the nature, simple, and we live in tent only. And I hang hammock every day. I don't sleep in a tent even, only when it's too windy or the rain comes then fly inside, <laughs> then I go in the, the tent to zip it to be dry. Otherwise, I just hang a hammock under any trees and I just sleep day or night. I never had one half of a soul of a mosquito visit my skin. And now, I don't know, you bring in all kind of things. My body is full of flower face. It heals some and then it, a new one come in again, you know. I was still dreaming to become like a movie star or something, but now I give up. <laughs> Not because I'm old, but because too many mosquitoes. <laughs> Unless they want to hire me in to, to play a role of a gram-gram in some uh, 
how say uh, mosquito infested region you know then i'm suitable candidate yeah i don't remember mosquito ever exist in my life i live in some you know swamp swamp area and a lot uh, i don't know there is mosquito or i don't know even there's uh, small sandbugs nothing i only know it because I beat the life out of my assistants or my nearby people. Oh, the, the whole face was full of uh, big, big pimple like this. The whole face, one of the men, you know. He came from Costa Rica, he's still alive. So I'm not telling science fiction story, you know. Oh, his whole, I don't know the body, I don't see the body. I see the face or the neck and the hand everywhere. People like this, not one, not one millimeter don't have. Oh, terrible. And I said, oh my God, then we have to move away from here. You will die if we continue to stay here. We cannot stay here. Understand? My dog's no problem. I even had birds at that time. I was so naive, you know. What a life is to have dogs and birds, <laughs> rescue dogs and all that. Bring them there, but they don't bite the dogs and the birds. I was worried because I see the men and I thought, oh my God, the dogs and the birds might also die soon, you know. But they don't bother them, and they don't bother me at all, but especially that guy. Oh, the whole body, whole faces. Oh, I was worried he's going to die, or, or he's going to be, you know, bumpy like this forever. <laughs> but luckily, we have medicine, and then it goes down. But I never set foot to that island again. I love to live on islands. I love to be away from it all. This is just a naive dream nowadays. How can you be away from it all? They have airplane, <laughs> they have radar, they have research. They can pinpoint where you stay. Yeah, but a few, ten years ago, I'm still that naive. Yeah? Live on a small island all by yourself, you know? I bought an island so cheap and then just live a few, one day only and then run. Because <laughs> I don't want my uh, assistant or my, you know, together, my group, to be killed by the mosquito or the sand bugs over there. It was horrible. And nowadays, they, they don't, they're not polite to me anymore, the mosquito or the insect, they, they, they bite me any, anywhere. This is terrible. Uh, also, also, we didn't have mosquitoes before. Huh? And before, uh, the animals, they don't have to eat each other. They don't have to eat each other to, to stay alive the reproducer. Afterward, you know, the, the one that created them wants it that way, so that they don't have to take care of them. They just do it, take care by themselves, you know? They don't have to make anything for them to eat anymore. They just eat each other. And then they survive whoever the strongest thing like that. So it's a horrible system. I hate this. I don't like that. And then, and then they make humans crazy out of frustration, you know, because the humans, this race of humans, they came from a higher society, you know, they were free thinker people. At, there are some high-tech inventors, scientists, healers, engineers in their homeland. And then because they make some mistakes, they have been excited here and forget everything, forget all the talents they have, forget all the freedom they have, and forget what glory their being was before they came down here. But somehow, in some little remote corner of their mind, they feel something is not right about themselves in this environment, in, in their own situation. So. They feel very frustrated, and that's why nobody is happy on this planet. And they, we bicker with each other, we backstabbing, we make war, we steal, we lie, we compete, you know, to the extent of killing each other or harming each other because of all this frustration inside. No answer to the question, where do I came from? Where did I come from? What am I doing here? Why am I here? Etc., etc. Okay? So whenever you are feeling frustrated, 
and you should know that your memory have a little weakening, okay? Try to calm yourself. If you feel frustrated, lonely, trouble, just go meditate. Take a shower if you need to, meditate, or listen to some nice music that you like, or listen to my talk. Choose the one that smooth talking and praising, not the one that scolding and telling you do this, do that. Not at that time. <laughs> When you're depressed, you just listen to some of my romantic music, yeah? Or listen to the story, like today, like I say, how good you are, how glorious you have been. And you are just a victim of some wicked system. That's why I got very mad. I mad at them. Uh, the more I'm mad at them, the more I'm loving people, I mean, or being on this planet. So I decided that, okay, regardless of a few, some of you are bad, bad eggs, I still continue to give new people initiation in the hope that they really awaken themselves and then free themselves forever, forever and ever and ever. And then they can go any planet they want. They can reincarnate back into human body if they want to. But they don't have to be forced to do that against their will and then imprisoned in this you know, horrible planet forever. It looks beautiful from the outside, okay? But our planet is full of fire underneath, yeah? Boiling. Not just boiling, but extremely boiling almost like the heat of the sun. It came from, you know, boiling gas. So the outside is cooler. Maybe the inside is some crust and crusty cooler, but a lot of, you know, burning fire is still inside there. So we have a lot of stuff like, you know, earthquake, uh, volcanoes, mm? and then therefore influence the water and the the ocean and all and on top of that some of the planetary humans awaken to their uh, <laughs> old habit of invention of the knowledge of destruction and invented some bombs and testing here missile there h bomb here you know and whatever bomb next there disturbing the atmosphere, killing the uh, ozone layer. Not completely, but, you know, injuring, injuring the protective layer of our planet and changing the ecosystem, destroying many things slowly or quickly. Is some of them irreplaceable. Many of the species are gone beautiful one, gone. And no one can replace them again. Not even now, you cannot even order from the older company again. Not all company, no more. Just like some company, <laughs> they go bankrupt, or some company, they don't make enough profit, so they close, just like in our planet. Hmm? So not like you're thinking, okay, never mind, you know, maybe uh, another day, or maybe, maybe we have magical power, we can create that. You do have creation, creative power. Sometimes you can create one human or two, or one bird or two birds, if you have a pattern, or if you remember what you did before. But it's not the whole species like that. We're going down on the scale of, scale of, of you know, variety, which is, many of them are very beneficial to our lives. It beautifies our planet in any case. It was more beautiful before, when the animals don't eat each other, when we didn't fight with each other. But sometimes the um, out of frustration and being, how you say, uh, whispered inside, uh, uh, inaudibly, by these uh, negative, uh, wicked uh, beings, then we do bad things. And we don't even know. So many criminals, so-called criminals, have been imprisoned unjustly. 
the one who should be punished, you should, who should be uh, imprisoned, is these bodies, uh, rotten eggs, wicked, wicked beings from other planets. Understand? They've been controlling this planet for, a, for many hundreds of thousands of years. And before that, there were different systems at the time. And the last system, uh, mostly gone, just so many machinery is still around and nobody can destroy it yet to free our planet. And nobody can stop this uh, poison that been fed to the souls after they leave the body. Nobody can do it yet, except by the way of the Buddha, by the way of Jesus, you know, direct implementation, direct uh, communication, direct awakening from inside. Outside we cannot do much, inside we can, because we are souls. And souls and souls there is a passage to connect with each other. Just like even simple speaking television, you know, you can look at television from thousands of miles away, from across the ocean, over the mountains. So how to talk about the soul cannot communicate is a joke. It's a joke that a soul cannot communicate with another soul. But we've been blocked, you see. There is a passage, passage here. You can go home from there. If, when it's open, you're free, free. Once it's open, you're free, that's it. But you have to continue walking to your home, you know, drive, walk, fly, whatever, okay? Go home. That's it. You're free. After initiation, you're free, free, free. That's all I can do for you, and that's all I can promise you. Ah, uh, behave yourself. Be good. I have to go. I'm a little late already, but I go. Thank you. Xin lỗi mấy đồng chí Việt Nam không có nói nhiều thứ tiếng một lần được. Okay. Tôi của chị bu nặng trạng thái gì đó. Okay. Mấy sự chiên. Bye bye là hả? Hey. Hu sang chào cụ, ok? Chị tự Yêu chua hào Ừ Ôi yêu chỗ đó, ôi yêu yêu sư chính Ôi yêu sư chính yêu chua rồi I have thing to do Chào 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 mấy đồng chí, ok <cười> Ok Ok, sư phải là Chào 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 Tôi của chị, I am sorry It's a uh, it's very lucky that I can see you today, really, already, okay, huh? But I have things to do, really, really. Not just inside, but outside, you know, right? You know, right? N nobody is free from work, one way or another, okay? Protect me, okay? With your meditation, all right? <laughs> Help me by helping yourself, so I don't have to, to worry about you. I don't have to spend too much of my power and energy on you. And then I can take care of myself better. Capish? Yeah, bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Pei. Mr. Pei, thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Sorry, guys. I love you. Oh, I need money.